Hey guys, um, so this is going to be a, another update um, to the Youth Center uh, dungeon basement. Uh, if you saw the last video, um, you saw that I put up this Hunter Low Profile 2. Um, and actually, somebody, a couple people had suggested that um, we make this like, uh, you know, dungeon space kind of like an Abando fan uh, display. And while I really like that idea, um, some of the Abando fans that I ha actually have, I don't necessarily want to risk losing. <laughs> Since, you know, it is Youth Center, it's not really my building. It's, you know, there's always a chance something could happen, so I just would rather kind of stick to things that I'm not super attached to. Um, but that gave me an idea, um, because again, with this one, um, we know that it's a, kind of in rough shape. I mean, it's complete and working, but it's not super pretty. Well, it reminded me that I actually have a... This is the next room over. Yes, I have a um, pretty rusty uh, Hunter original. Um, it's in it's a 1991 uh, permanent split capacitor version, uh, three speed. And this one, I believe, was used outside. Um, as you can see, it's pretty rusty, um, not in the best shape. Paint's pretty chipped. Um, but again, another complete working fan, and I figure. Why not throw it up? And so there's the um, the room with the low profile is in there. And then this is the center room. This this room's got a much higher ceiling, so I figure if we were gonna put a more powerful fan, this would probably be a better spot for that. Um, but yeah, this, it's, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, obviously not winning any contests in terms of condition, but it is it definitely fits the bill. Um, where's the label? I don't know how well that's showing up, but uh, it's got the 9-1 on it, so that would indicate 1991. And actually, I got this fan um, from Matt Cody. Um, it was part of a uh, part of a deal. I actually bought a couple other fans, and I think he threw this one in for free. Um, if I remember right, this one actually had the blue sailcloth blades originally. Um, those weren't included. I, I think maybe he reused those for something else and just had the motor. Um, but these act, these blades are actually off of, I think, a low profile, if I'm not mistaken. The irons are original, and then obviously the whole motor is original, but I think these are low profile blades, but I mean, they fit and look just fine, so perfect for what I need. But um, yeah, I think it's I think it's pretty neat. We got a lot, a lot better light down here now with that as well. So, all right, let's uh, fire it up. It's there it is low. And again, we've got, you know, we're just running on extension cords for now just because A, I prefer to have things unplugged when we're not here, and B, we don't have like super great um, electrical down here at the moment. So until we, you know, get a more permanent, um, you know, more permanent service down here, we'll uh, just use the extension cords, but it's functional. Nice aesthetic low. Needed a little bit of TLC. I uh, the reverse switch was very finicky. Probably just oxidized. I was able to get that to work a little bit better. The squirt of WD forty, and I've got kind of like a antique style schoolhouse globe. I actually was gonna put a round globe on it, but unfortunately the round globe did not survive transit. <laughs> so I had this one on hand here, so I figured that'd be a decent second choice. All right, now let's go to medium. Yeah, it's a really nice runner. I mean, definitely has some hours on it, but I mean, it's uh, yeah, nice and quiet. The cool thing about this fan is it could pretty easily be restored. Um, you know, just fresh repaint and clean up. It would clean up pretty nice. And nice, and like I was saying, the nice thing about this room is the ceiling's a lot higher, so like I can actually walk under this without having to squat. And straight high.
Really nice performer. Yeah, these, uh, these 90s PSC originals are usually really good performers. Get the bears bouncing off the floor. It's very cold down here. <laughs> Obviously, the uh, dungeon's always kind of a work in progress, but, you know, sometimes little additions like this make it a little nicer. Definitely, I mean, definitely better light, and you can actually see it in here now. When we first started coming here, the only light source was this guy right here, a little clamp light. But, you know, we've definitely got some better light now. This has got a... Uh, I think it's a 150 watt equivalent LED in there. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do zero to high in this. Okay, and then I'm gonna go put this one on high as well. And since these are both um, effectively powered off that clamp light right now, um, they can be switched immediately at the same time, so we'll get a pretty accurate uh, spin down uh, comparison. So, okay, that's up to speed. And, is that in a cup of power? It's gonna be tricky for me to watch both of them, but. Knocks out pretty much everything. Ah, oh, you know what? Just turn them off now. Get some light back on. Close, wow. I think the original might be first, but not by much. Yeah, it was extremely close, wow, okay. So, all right, well, um, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and bye, fans. Okay, and then uh, here's part two of the um, Youth Center update. Um, so this is the uh, Matt Cody Memorial Green Room, as we've been calling it. Um, I did some uh, restructuring in here, kind of basically just kind of tidying up our piles, um, getting things organized somewhat. Um, but basically, this is like kind of all supplies, tiles, fans, a few more fans, some lighting. All the seating, the, uh, the green hose is temporary. That's just for draining the uh, baptismal pool. And then the uh, kind of additional storage there. Um, the one big update is, I don't know if you remember, this was pretty banged up before. Um, the ceiling had a few holes in it. The wall was kind of broken in one spot. Um, so I, it's a little bit bootleg, but it definitely looks better. Um, used a bunch of those like uh, 50s era uh, acoustical tiles 
and some wood grain contact paper to cover that. Definitely not perfect, but I mean, it's, it's better than it was. There's no, no like gaping holes. I actually think it looks pretty cool. We could, I mean, eventually we may even just paint over the contact paper, you know, paint it orange so it just matches and you wouldn't even see that, but I'd, I'd say it's an improvement. I think the view fan was pretty cool mounted to the 50s tiles. Um, one other thing I did was, um, while I was waiting for something else, I balanced these uh, fans a little bit better. Um, both, not, not so much the view fan, but the homestead and the two Pasadenas had kind of a death wobble on high. Um, so I got those balanced pretty well. Um, they have a little shimmy on high, but it's definitely better. Um, but they're all uh, doing a little bit better balance wise. The view fan bearings are finally quiet too, since it got some, got some use the last couple days. But yeah, this, uh, this, I think this room looks a lot better. I got things kind of cleaned up a little bit. And then uh, the little hugger's still back here. Nothing really to note. I was pretty impressed with myself on that. It's about as good as you could do with just having basic cutting tools. <laughs> Well, uh, just wanted to show that. Uh, thanks for watching and bye, Fanstick.